Hey, St. Paul Lutheran Church, it's Pastor Justin here and Audrey Clarks to give you the announcements here for our congregation for May 24th, this Memorial Day weekend. Let us pray. In this Easter season, help us to see the empty tomb while we are stuck in our homes. Help us to be bold in our faith in the face of uncertainty. Surprise us again in our locked rooms. Dine with us at our tables. Embrace our doubts. Strengthen our courage. And keep us in the hope found in the empty tomb. Amen. Amen. We continue with our Bible study and social options here at St. Paul. Our Tuesday Bible study at 930 along with our adult forum. Today is our last offering of the Sabbath. Much more than worship. Uh, we will continue with our online worship here uh, for a few weeks for we have started a, a safe start task force to help us through these next couple phases as phase three ends and we are able to leave our homes more i've assembled a team of health professionals in our, from our congregation to help us decide what ways uh, st paul can still be uh, a community online and a community in person so we started a safe start community uh safe safe start task force to help us make some of those tough decisions in these stages in this phase four and phase five Five period. We are continuing with our youth and family options. Audrey. Looking forward to another week of checking in with our children and our teens. Monday at 10 is for our <clears throat> younger kids and then our teen lunch is on Wednesdays at noon. Hoping that you all can jump on and check in with us this week and then don't forget to check out um, this week's Making Stuff with Mrs. Up. Uh, it's a really cool one this week that includes a uh, chalk and salt and it's pretty colorful and fun so try it out i'm a big <laughs> fan of salt <laughs> thank you audrey uh and we're going to be talking about what summer may look like so come look at some more announcements as the years come by what the summer ministries will look like and we had some fun uh, this week on wednesday doing collections for our local mission partners yeah we had a great turnout thank you to everyone who dropped off donations we have a lot of toiletries and cleaning supplies for the family center, lots of great kids activities for families first and Kroger cards for them. And then we were able to connect, collect a great bunch of games and adult um, activities and puzzles, as well as some masks for our friends at Heartline. So thank you everyone uh, who donated and uh, took time to drop off. It was good to see your faces on Wednesday too. And uh, we thank uh, the outreach team for for working on this and Kathy and Greg Gasser and Mary Wyland for helping to collect donations. Good had by all. Thank you very much, Audrey. And guess what? St. Paul is Insta worthy. Yay. We finally have an Instagram, everyone. I'm very excited about this. I'm hoping that we will be able to connect with a bunch of different people through our Instagram. So if you are an Insta fan, go ahead and hop on and follow at St. Paul GP. And we'll be posting a lot of really uh, great pictures and updates and announcements, just like we do on our Facebook page too. So looking forward to connecting with you guys there. It's kind of about time. Even my dog has an Insta page. So uh, it's about time for St. Paul to have an Instagram <laughs> account. <laughs> Uh, the parking lot is continuing to move along nicely. They're working really hard out there. Put down a good base coat to put this uh, parking lot on. They're gonna, it's going to be a couple different processes. They're going to put down the first layer of the base layer, base layer of the asphalt. It could be happening on Friday of this week, but early next week. And then there's going to be a time in which that has to cure, and we're, we're not staying on. And it, so there's not going to be work done for a little bit there as that first part cures. Uh, they'll be replacing some concrete work on the end entrances and exits of uh, the parking lot as well. So uh, there's going to be a time in which it won't have lines on it and we'll have to do the last layer on it as it cures for about a week. So the council approved a restart of our, most of our benevolence. Uh, our missionaries and our local mission partners are, will be starting to get checks uh, this week as we restart our mission uh, when it comes to as our congregation 
will be the largest the largest sum of our outreach goes to our synod and we will look to re restart that this fall but at this point we are restarting all the other ministries of our benevolence so i'm grateful for that and we're able to do that because of your consistent giving so thank you very much for your consistent giving we've made some changes to our council uh chris hardenbrook has moved over to the vice president seat uh ben robel vacated that a, a while back and we have improved uh the uh rick Gransky did but was appointed as the secretary in both of these terms and in 2020. And so it's a part of our constitution that for uh, between meetings, if, if, if seats get vacating, the uh, council can appoint people uh, for the rest of that year. And both of these terms were done in 2020 e either way. So I'm very grateful for Rick to be able to step up as, a, as our secretary and look forward to seeing Chris in the vice president role. Let us finish this morning's announcements with another prayer. Oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending. By paths yet untrodden, to perils unknown, give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thanks, everyone. See you. See you later. Have a great week. <laughs>